Tonight, 10 months after the deadly massacre at Parkland High School, the Trump administration is releasing its report on how schools nationwide can improve their security. Our Eyewitness News White House correspondent Mark Meredith has more from our Washington newsroom. Every day I wake up wishing that my little boy was here. Max Schachter lost his teenage son Alex in February's Parkland, Florida school shooting. He hopes parents nationwide will read the recommendations from President Trump's school safety commission. Every school around the country should take a look at this report and analyze all the recommendations. The report released Tuesday suggests dozens of ways to improve school security, from adding mental health resources to enacting stricter discipline policies and permitting some school employees to carry guns to allowing law enforcement to take weapons away from potentially violent students. Stopping tragedy before it strikes, and that's obviously our number one goal. The report says there's no one-size-fits-all solution to improving school safety. Instead, the commission is hoping individual communities will go through the report and identify what would work for their schools. Scarlett Lewis lost her son Jesse in the 2012 shooting in Newtown, Connecticut. She says she's thrilled that the report goes beyond simply improving physical security. Teaching kids how to have healthy connections, uh, how to manage their emotions, skills and tools for resilience. Nothing is more important than protecting our nation's children. The president says the report is a challenge to communities nationwide and lawmakers at all levels to do more to keep kids safe. From the Washington Newsroom, Mark Meredith, Eyewitness News.